Hi, golden friend. What's up? Let's do another puzzle. This position knight can give a check at d3. If takes with the rook, we take back, cannot take with the pawn, but mm, and because a uh, pawn is pinned to the queen, but first takes our queen and then takes the rook. Not a good option. Mm, what else can we do? We can, of course, uh, capture the rook, uh, either rooks, with our rooks. I don't know if any of them is useful. If uh, if the knight wasn't on f3, we could have pinned the queen. But unfortunately, it is there. Another thing I see is to take the b-pawn with the... Yes, take the b-pawn with the bishop. We check if it takes with the king then or another option no I'm so sure. yeah if it takes with the king can takes the bishop with the king I was thinking to take the uh, rook uh, d rook but the problem with that is that if I take the rook takes my rook uh, my other rook my G rook and um, yeah and it's equals equals so first I should get rid of my G rook but it's also not easy because once I uh, get rid of my G rook you now for example G rook takes the rook takes uh, the, doesn't take back my rook uh, my G rook instead first take my D rook and then we check and then takes captures the g rook g4 rook so uh, it's an interesting idea bishop b2 is an interesting idea but we should find a way to work it out <laughs> another idea i see is to first capture the queen with check has to grab it with the rook Otherwise, it's ca if captures with the knight, then we win. Uh, we win his rook. So grabs with the rook, and then we deflected that g rook. So we have mm, the opportunity to play bishop b two. Yes, let's do it. Good one, good one. What deflection? So we have, are planning to push the pawn and queen it, right? What's wrong with going behind the pawn and then just push it? Rook e1, whatever he does is not a problem, is it? I think it's not a problem. Then I want to push the pawn. If he goes uh, e8 with the king, I push the d pawn with check. He has to react and then the queen. So let's do it. It's so easy. I thought about this move, but then I said that I come to d2. Uh, I said, okay, there is another option except moving king. Rook there. I come to d2 to uh, take care of e3 square. Yeah. And he cannot capture. Oh, 15 points. We got 15 points for this puzzle. We also spent one minute to solve it. Mm, around one minute mm, is interesting apparently it's very high rated i don't know how much mm, uh, what's the rating of this puzzle but perhaps uh, above 3000 yeah uh, uh, at this position cannot do anything the king of black cannot move basically or it cannot make any mm, sensible move because if captures the d pawn if you push the e pawn if it uh, uh, goes up and down sh uh, shuffle is there we go to grab the g pawn first and then defend our pawns to queen them so we can give it check expel the king if king goes down then it's a mate right king has to come up and then it's a mate again yes check with the pawn or no check with the rook first check with the rook is a mate no no check with the rook is not a mate check with the pawn first and then check with the rook 
Yeah. Another high rated puzzle. Easy high rated puzzle. If you're happy with this easy high rated puzzles. So in this position, uh, what I see is weak is the rook at h1. It's uh, mm, uh, somehow free. Another thing you can see immediately is queen a5, for example, such a good check, but it doesn't lead to any decisive advantage. Or maybe it does, but I don't see it. How to attack the rook? The problem with attacking rook is the c pawn. If wasn't the c pawn there, we could go queen d5 directly and attack the rook. Another thing I see is that his knight in d4 is really weak because I can push to that knight. Or maybe I cannot, I don't know. I was thinking I can push to that knight when it goes away. Uh, then I can give a check to the king with the bishop, but it doesn't do anything. Even it doesn't need to go away, it can take my knight with ch with uh, attacking over my queen, so I should react. So pushing to the pawn, pawn to the knight is useless. At least we know something. Uh, another direction let's define, find another direction okay i i also think that maybe i first have to take the knight with knight then think about possible moves the reason i'm saying that is that at any moment he can capture my knight and and then i'm the one who should react to the action of the white and usually this is not good you shouldn't be in reacting uh, situation. So I take the knight, takes back with the pawn, takes back with the knight. The bad thing about this um, taking the knight is that he has many moves, not a single move, many moves. And again, it is not good if your opponent has many options. He has to take back with the pawn, he has to take back with the knight. These are two moves. And for the capture, it shouldn't be possible. Something else should happen in this board. Uh, I don't see any weakness. This is a little bit strange. So check with the bishop. Bishop in front. Take the knight. I take the knight because then he cannot uh, grab my bishop. He should first take the knight. Otherwise, knight uh, f3 is a mate. So, takes back my knight with a pawn or with a knight. At this position, At this position, what do I have? I, I don't see anything, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time for it. And I just examine it and see what happens. Oh, it works. It works. So I take the knight, takes back with the knight. He cannot take my bishop, yes, as a mate. Take back with the knight or takes back with the pawn, doesn't matter. Mm, yeah, so let me do this forcing move. No, okay, it wasn't. At first, I should take the bishop, I guess, and then knight in. But yeah, I saw a knight in, but I didn't see complete continuation. I d actually didn't see queen check. Yeah, queen check is useful in this case because um, the queen cannot defend the king. King should move, and then we fork the rook. Difficulty was 3000. So it's not that bad to miss it. So we can take that rook, of course. Mm, but do we have better move? We can take that rook, then cut the pieces. We are down a piece and up exchange. Not so good. It's okay, but not so good. Another option I see is to is to is to what 
Hmm. Take the rook. I was thinking maybe now queen f6 is a better option because we attack two pieces. Rook and the bishop. And I don't see immediate way to defend it. So let's do it. And then take this one. Take this one. Okay, it was an easy puzzle. We got five points only. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.